Selena Gomez claps back amid her rumored feud with Francia Raisa. I'm very honest though in general. The drama started after Selena's recent interview with Rolling Stone, where she opened up about feeling like a bit of an outcast in the world of entertainment, explaining, quote, I never fit in with a cool group of girls that were celebrities. My only friend in the industry really is Taylor Swift, so I remember feeling like I didn't belong. Yeah, she's amazing. She's been, she's been in my life for so long. We're kind of like sisters at this point. Well, a select portion of that quote was then posted to Instagram. My only friend in the industry really is Taylor Swift. And Franzia, in a since deleted comment, cryptically wrote, interesting. Then when a TikTok user shared a video breaking down the supposed drama, pointing out that Francia no longer follows Selena on Instagram, Selena slid into the comments writing, sorry I didn't mention every person I know. He's a 10, but he hates your best friend. Mm, I hate her too sometimes. <laughs> Honestly, fair enough. <laughs> the two have been friends for nearly 15 years. And in 2017, Francia donated her kidney to Selena when she needed a transplant as a result of her battle with lupus. When I had to self-isolate myself almost three years ago now because of my kidney surgery, I was depressed. I was frustrated. You know, I basically had a C-section. It's hard to walk because, you know, you got cut into and um, because no one knew what was happening. And fans were quick to point out that Francia was nowhere to be found in Selena's new documentary, My Mind and Me, which details her mental and physical health struggles over the years. Everything that I had gone through, it's gonna be there. I'm just making it my friend now. I am happier and I'm in control of my emotions and thoughts more than I have ever been. And while he didn't name names, the film's director did tell E.T. some of Selena's friends were camera shy during filming. Everything that was happening in her life was free reign. With the exception, she was very, I think she was very sensitive about not necessarily having her sister in the dock. And I was also very sensitive to the fact that some of her friends didn't want to be filmed. We don't know if Francia was one of those pals, but we do know that their friendship runs deep. Back in 2019, she opened up to ET about her decision to donate her organ to her friend in need. It was a decision that was very faith-based and you know, like she and I have talked about before, um, it just kind of happened coincidentally, but I don't believe in coincidences. I believe that that's God's way of remaining anonymous, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity.